Hello, do you know the most important secret to mental addiction? Keep watching to find out what it is. Hi, I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and today we're going to learn the most important secret to being able to do mental addition and subtraction and it's something that every one of you already knows but we're going to practice it here so that you get really good at it and so that we can use it and that is knowing your compliments and we're not talking about you know oh you look great today we're talking about the mathematical compliments what a compliment is is something that you already know but we're going to drill it in here and we're going to get so comfortable with them that they'll be on the tip of our tongue and you're going to use it over and over again as you do uh, mental math in your head the complement of the number one is just the number nine and so the complement of the number two as another example is the number eight so you can see from the pattern here a mathematical complement in in the context of what we're talking about is just the number that uh... so if the complement of one would be the other number so that when you add these two numbers together you get ten so Another example is if we're looking at the number 2, the complement of, of the number 2 to give us 10 would be the number 8. And what you're going to find out as you start juggling these numbers in your head is that knowing uh, spontaneously what it's going to add together with to give you 10 is going to give you a huge advantage. And so, like I say, everyone knows that the complement of 3 really is 7 because you know that 3 plus 7 is 10. But what we need to do is get really fast at it. The complement of the number 4 is for instance the number six the complement of the number five is five the complement of the number six is four the complement of the number seven is three the complement of the number eight is two the complement of the number nine is one and of course the complement of the number ten is zero and we don't really care about that because it's already ten so what you're going to find is that as you start looking at long columns of numbers you're going to be looking for sort of pairs of number that at numbers that add to ten because it's going to make your mental addition a lot easier and faster so look at this list say them to yourself a few times play this part of the video again if you have to and do more than just know these facts everyone knows that six plus four is ten but what you need to do is when you look at the number six you need to immediately in your head think of the number four and the way I think of it is these are almost like two puzzle pieces the number six and the number four they fit together perfectly to make that nice round number ten the number three and the number seven they fit together perfectly like a puzzle to make the nice round number ten think of it like that it's gonna make your life easier so what we're going to do now is really do a quick little drill to practice our compliments. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to write a number up here on the board and you're going to yell out its complement as fast as you can. And you're going to play this part of the video as many times as you can and as many times as it takes for you to really feel that you understand these compliments and that you can just yell out the compliment immediately without having to really think, okay, what plus six is going to be equal to ten? I want you to be able to yell it out. And so that's what we're going to do here. It's going to help you tremendously. The complement of the number six is four. The complement of the number three is, you can do it, number seven. The complement of the number four is, that's right, six. Complement of the number two is, you got it, eight. Complement of the number nine is, obviously it's one. Complement of the number seven is, three. The complement of the number one is nine. The complement of the number five is obviously five. The complement of the number eight is two. Now, you may think this exercise is silly. You may think that it's something that everyone knows, but let me tell you, every step on a journey to getting good at something begins with practice and begins with really getting a good foundation. If you understand these compliments, and if you can not only understand them, I know you understand them, but if you can get to the point where they're just naturally fall out of your mouth when you see them, then when you look at a long list of numbers, you're going to be able to put them together and add them together in a way that's going to make it much easier for you, and we'll get to those in subsequent sections. So play this part of the video again if you need to. Really get to the point where you can yell out your compliments.
Okay, now we're going to practice a little bit what we've learned a minute ago with complements and getting good at it, and we're going to continue practicing here, but we're going to twist it a little bit. What I'm going to do now is write a number down, and you're going to yell out as fast as you can how far away from the number 20 is the number. So you're really doing a little bit of mental subtraction here, but trust me, when you get into doing long column addition with multiple digits, it's going to help you tremendously to have this kind of practice. So we're going to practice it here. The number 16, how far away is that from 20? Well, that's 4. And obviously you know that, but what we're really doing is we're looking, okay, we already got 10 in the bag, so we're looking really at 6 here. The complement of 6 is 4, and that's going to give us our 20. So you see you've sort of done a mental addition here as we're going along, but these little, these little uh, complements here are going to help us tremendously. What about the number 12? How far away is that from 20? And that's 8. Obviously you can do the subtraction, but you just realize that 8 and 2 are complements, so that's the natural answer. What about the number 14? What's the comp what's the, how many how far away from 20 is that? Of course that's going to be 6 because 6 and 4 are complements. What about 17? Yell it out as fast as you can. Well, the number 3 because 3 and 7 are complements. What about the number 11? Well, that's going to be 9 because 1 and 9 are complements. And you can do this with any number you want, 20, 30, 40. So now let's do the same thing again, but let's go ahead and practice and yell out as fast as we can how far away the number that we're going to write down is from the number 40. What about the number 31? Well, that's 9 away from the number 40 because 1 and 9 again are complements. What about the number 36? Well, that's 4 units away from the number 40. How did we know? Because 6 and 4 are complements. What about the number 32? Well, that's 8 units away from the number 40 because 2 and 8 are complements. What about the number 34? Yell it out as fast as you can. Number 6. It's 6 units away from the number 40 because 6 and 4 are complements. Again, these are things that everyone listening to this already knows. But what you need to do is practice and get as fast as you can at it so that the numbers, you're not really doing any subtraction in your head. You're just recognizing that these are complements. You're throwing them out as fast as you can because when we do our long column addition, we're going to be using this tremendously. Now we've just recently looked to see to figure out quickly in our head how far away something was from 20, how far away something was from 40. You could practice this as you're laying in bed at night, how far away something is from 50 and 60 and 70 and so on, and get really good at it, and that's going to tremendously help you. What we're going to do here is try to find out how far away a number is from 100. And believe it or not, if you can do this quickly, it's going to tremendously help your addition skills and especially your subtraction skills, and we'll see that a little bit later. But first, let's take an example. What about the number 37? If I asked you how far away this number was from the number 100, most people would write 100 down, they would put 37 below it, they, they would subtract them, they would get the number, they would eventually get the right answer. But there's a faster way. And when you're doing mental arithmetic, really it comes down to efficiency and speed. So if there's a quick way that you can do something, then you really need to take it. Let me write down the answer and show you why it's faster to do it this way. The answer to this is 63 because 37 and 63 give you 100. So how do we do that quickly without actually writing this stuff down and doing the subtraction? If you're given a number and you want to know what its complement is to give you 100, then the quickest way to do that is in this column notice that these two digits right here sum to 10. 7 plus 3 is 10, so they sum to 10. The leading two digits right here, these do not sum to 10. They sum to 9. And that's always going to be true for any, any two-digit number that you want to find the complement for, which you can almost think of these as puzzle pieces. 37 and 63, they fit nicely because together they give you 100. And you will see later that that's going to tremendously speed up your mental arithmetic when we start looking at real addition and subtraction problems. So if I gave you the number 45 and I said, quickly, tell me how far away that is from 100. Again, most people would really have to think for a second, but all you need to do is look. Okay, in the leading column, go left to right. Again, don't, don't work in the right-hand column. Go left to right. For the, for the left digit column, you're just trying to sum to 9, so I'm going to put a 5 there. In the right-hand column, I'm just trying to sum to 10, so I'm going to put a 5 there. And this is the answer. That's the complement. What if I were going to have the number 76? And I said, what is the complement of that? Go ahead and try it for yourself really quickly. Well, what we're going to do is in the leading column, I'm just trying to sum to 9. So I'm going to put a 2 here. 
And in the right-hand column, I'm just trying to sum to 10. So I'm going to put a 4 here, and that's it. I don't have to really do any subtraction. I don't have to scratch my head trying to borrow or carry digits or anything like that. I'm just looking to see what fits as that puzzle piece. What about the number 57? What's the complement of 57? Quickly. Well, that's going to be 43, because in the leading digit, I just look to sum to 9, and then the trailing digit, I just sum to 10. Okay, what about the number 17? Quickly, give me the complement to give me 100. Well, in the leading digit, I'm just trying to sum to 9, so I'm going to put an 8. In the trailing digit, I'm just trying to sum to 10, so I'm going to put a 3, 83. That's the answer. That's the complement. These two fit together like that nice puzzle piece. What about 66? Quickly, give me the sum to 100. What number am I going to need to add to that? Well, in the leading digit, I'm just going to put a 3 because I'm summing to 9. And in the trailing digit, I'm going to put a 4 because I'm summing to 10. That's the complement. Finally, let's look at one final one, 81. Give me the complement of that guy to give me 100. Well, in the leading column, I'm just trying to sum to 9, so I'm going to put a 1 there. And in the trailing column, I'm trying to sum to 10, so I'm going to put a 9 there. So 19 is the answer. That's a pretty incredible um, thing to be able to do quickly in your head because addition and subtraction problems, a lot of times you're trying to do borrowing and things in your head. You're going to see how this is going to help you. Also, all money is, is in base 10. You know, one dollar is a hundred cents. There's plenty of different opportunities that you're going to find as we go through these these lessons where figuring out in your head quickly how far away something is from a hundred is going to be really, really nice to do. And this is the easiest way to do it in your head. Now, the final thing I'll say is this little trick, if you want to call it a trick, it only works for these numbers that are not uh, multiples of 10. So if I give you the number 60 and I ask you what, what do you need to add to that to give you a hundred, you're going to know the answer is 40, but that, that doesn't follow this little rule here. This plus this gives you zero. It doesn't follow the nice rule that we have here. If I give you a 20, then the nice complement of that guy you should already know is 80 because 2 and 8 are complements. But it doesn't follow the little, the little thing I'm telling you here with the, the first column and the second column. So for the nice multiples of 10, you're going to use your, your knowledge of regular complements to give you the answer. For any other number, you know, I can throw out anything. I could throw out, you know, 51. Well, I could say the complement of that's going to be 49 because this sums to 9 and this sums to 10. So that's going to be it. I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com. I hope you've learned something here. Knowing your compliments, and not only just knowing them from a textbook point of view, but knowing them on the tip of your tongue and getting really comfortable with them is going to help you tremendously when we start adding columns of numbers, which we're going to do in the very next section. And we're going to give you the tools to build the skills that you need to succeed with mental math.